Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and here is a question of the day. Generate a strict consensus from the phylogenetic trees below. And as you see, all these three phylogenetic trees are slightly different. What is a consensus? That means, for example, if one person tell you go to the left and two person tell you go to the right, you choose to go to the right because two versus one. Another example would be if three people tell you go to the left and four people tell you go to the right, again you choose to go to the right. So now let's apply this knowledge and let's build consensus phylogenic tree. So as you see, for example, this branch is A on this phylogenic tree. A is here and A is here. So 100% we have consensus that this site is going to be taxon A. And for example, here, this branch, again, branching to E and C, branching to C and E, and branching to C and E. So our branch is going to look as follows. So we are going to have taxon E here, just like we have it here, here, and here. So two versus one, and taxon C here, as we have it, for example, here and here, versus that we have it here. And by the way, we can replace, for example, the C with E, and our phylogenetic tree is going to be the same because relationship is going to be the same between these two taxa and, for example, sister taxon A. Now let's analyze this branch. This phylogenetic tree tells us that here we should have taxon D. But if we take a look here and here, we offer it taxon B. So that means that we should put taxon B here and not D because 2B versus 1D. Now the most difficult part, for example, take a look here, here, and here, and we are going to get all three different variants, which one to choose. These two phylogenetic trees offer us that taxon A and F would be sister taxa, so would have recent common ancestor, and for example, this phylogenetic tree offers that taxon A is equally related to F and D, and F and D would be more closely related. So in two out of three, we are shown that taxon A and F are sister taxon and have recent common ancestor here. And we see, for example, the same picture here. So again, two out of three would give us this relationship. That means that we also have to put F, taxon F, here. And that also means that taxon D would be here. Take a look. Distance from taxon A to D is the same as from the F to D. This passes, the length is the same. Take a look here. From A to D is the same distance as from F to D here. And from A to D here, distance is the same as from F to D. And only here, the distance between F and D closer than from A to D. So again, two versus one. That's why we choose this variant and we call such phylogenic tree consensus phylogenic tree made of three different alternative variants. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.